Uh, China was one of the member states uh, which uh, has helped us by offering uh, uh, 300,000 doses of uh, anti-COVID vaccine, and uh, that is highly appreciated. But in, in addition to that, uh, you know, peacekeeping is very much a collective effort. We need the support of our member states, and we need the support of uh, those member states who have uh, uh, strong capacities and and and, uh, and 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 means. And that is the case with China. We have more than 2,000 Chinese peacekeepers. Uh, uh, they are providing an excellent service. Uh, uh, in uh, the, the missions in which they serve. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, China is now the second largest financial contributor to, to, to peacekeeping, and uh, that is, of course, also very important to that. So uh, we, we very much count on uh, that support from, uh, from China. I have to say that we've uh, also benefited from uh, uh, voluntary contribution from China, uh, which are critical to helping us uh, implement some of the key projects that we have uh, uh, with the objective of improving the impact and effectiveness of peacekeeping.